In this video, we will see how you can work with documents in a library using Windows Explorer. Some of the actions are not only easier using Explorer, but users may be more comfortable using the Explorer environment for file manipulation, such as being able to drag and drop to move and copy files and folders. For this demonstration, I'm working in the training site of the Viascope Internet using the Training Documents Library. To work with this library in Explorer, I click on the Library tab, and then click on the button open with Explorer. I'll choose Allow and the Explorer window opens. You'll notice if I right click on a file the same functionality is available such as cut, copy, rename, and delete. I can also change the view of the files using the view drop down here. The default is details view. I can change this to list view, icon view, just like when you're working normally in Explorer. When viewing a library in Explorer, you see a folder named Forms that you don't see when viewing the library in SharePoint. The Forms folder contains SharePoint forms for the library that a user sees when they fill in fields for a new document or edit properties of a document and so forth. These forms are required for working with the library and cannot be deleted. If they are deleted, the library will become unusable, so you don't want to delete or change the Forms folder. So we'll take a look at a few examples of what you can do here. First we'll take a look at creating a new folder in the library. And in this library I would like to create a folder named Presentations. So I'll click on the New Folder button at the top. Adds the new folder, type in the new name, Presentations. And I already have one presentation in this library that I would like to move into the Presentations folder. This is much easier in Explorer where I can just grab onto the file and drag it to the folder. Let's get the confirmation and choose OK. So now if I double click on presentations, now I can see that file exists in the new folder. And to get back, just click the back button here. And quickly take a look at our library in the background here. Still looks the same, I just need to refresh the window. Okay, now we see the presentations folder has been added. Next, we'll take a look at copying documents between the library and your computer. I have the remaining presentation files on the C drive of my computer that I want to copy to the presentations folder I just created. So to do that, I will open a second Explorer window displaying the files on the C drive. So I've opened the second Explorer window. I'll go down to the C drive. And those documents are in the folder named Training. Since I'll be dragging these from one window to another, I'll reposition the two Explore windows side by side here. Then in the Explore window displaying my C drive, I'll select those presentation files. And now I can just drag them over to the presentations folder. And now if I double click on presentations to open the folder, there are the additional files. And if I click in the SharePoint window in the background, open the presentation folder, and there are the files. Next we'll take a look at moving documents from one SharePoint library to another SharePoint library. In this example I'm going to move a file from the training document library to the HR document library. So I need to bring those windows into view. So here's the uh, training library. I'll just go back one step. And here's the new hire orientation file that I want to move out of training over to HR. Next I need to display the HR folder. So in SharePoint, I'll go to the HR site. Open the Share Documents. Go to the library and click on Open in Explorer. And then I'll bring my other window into view, the training site. Here's the HR window and the training window. Unfortunately, you cannot drag directly from one library to another when both are open in Explorer windows. You will get an error. However, using the right-click menu, you can copy and paste from one window to another. So I'll right-click on the New Hire Orientation 
on the right, select copy, and then I'll right click in the HR library window and choose paste. So now I have the new higher orientation presentation in the HR document library. So if I click on the SharePoint window in the background, which still has the HR library displayed, click the refresh button, and now I can see the new higher orientation file has been added. So I'll bring up the Explorer windows again. Last, I will demonstrate deleting documents from a library in Explorer. Since I really wanted to move the new higher orientation file from training to HR, I can now delete it from training. So I can just right click on the document and then select delete. You will be prompted to confirm if you want to permanently delete the items. This message is misleading because deleted files will not be permanently deleted. They will actually be sent to the recycle bin of the SharePoint site. So I'll choose yes, removes the file. Now I'll go back to the SharePoint site and I'll go to Training, which is where I deleted the new higher orientation file from, and then I'll go to the Recycle Bin, and there you can see the new higher orientation file that I had deleted. So there you have a few examples of working with SharePoint libraries in Explorer window.